Hey everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've been live. <laughs> I've, uh, I apologize for uh, not really being as active. But uh, I just wanted to jump on here and see how everyone's doing and chat a little bit while I go through some of the new comics that I got and just chat so if you guys have any questions mm -hmm. or whatever feel free to comment hey everybody and I hope everyone is doing great so so today was the first time I've been to the comic store and well seems like forever Yeah, I'm sharing my new comics, and, like, I have, literally have a whole stack of new comics. <laughs> so, and I'm also going to go through some of my uh, comic boxes and, and whatnot, so, like, the ones that I picked up today, I'll go through real quick. Um... Of course, once the Marvel announced that they were going to like relaunch a Fantastic Force run, I was super excited and I got on it. So, um, I I really enjoyed it. Like it it's it was there was a long period of time where there wasn't any Fantastic Four comics because of the uh, Fox thing. So, I was really happy when the Fantastic Four came back into the comic world because I love them. If you guys didn't know that, I'm a huge Fantastic Four fan, as you can see. <laughs> Hi. Hey, everybody. So, uh, I got my hands on uh, this. And what else? Got another variant cover with Galactus and a variant cover of the Empire with Johnny. Hi, thank you for joining me. Just going through some comics I got today. And of course, uh, got this one. The final issue, I think, of uh, X Men and Fantastic Four. Uh, I really enjoyed it, like seeing them both in the same comic together. Yeah, Fantastic Four sucks, and they're they're back. I'm a huge Fantastic Four fan since I was a kid. Me too. When I read the comics, I want to see the 2005 movie. Yeah, I. Like, I know a lot of people have complaints about the original two Fantastic Four movies back in 05 and 07, but they, they I, I really love them. Like, they're so much better than the 2015 reboot, for sure. Like, I don't know. Like, I really hope that Marvel does the Fantastic Four justice. Like, I have, I have confidence in them, for sure. How are you? I am great. I had a day off from work today, and I decided to go get some comics, and also go through comics, too. <laughs> I love both of those movies. Yeah. Me too. Like, just compared to the, the reboot, it, it, they're, they're so much better. Although my only complaint with the Rise of the Silver Surfer is how they portrayed Galactus as a space cloud, of all things. But I know once when they showed uh, Galactus coming towards Earth, I know we, like, I think it was Saturn, they showed like a shadow like of his 
it looked like his helmet, like just kind of looming over Saturn. And so that was probably the closest we got to the actual Galactus. <laughs> but I, I have confidence that Marvel will uh, do them justice and give them a really, really awesome movie. I'm praying. Jessica Alba is one of my favorite actresses. Yes, I love Jessica Alba. And I love Invisible Woman, too. She's, like, my number one, like, favorite uh, female Marvel character. So, I'm super excited for the Fantastic Four to make their debut, for sure. Um... So I got, I've been following this uh, Captain Marvel run. It's really good. I highly recommend reading it if you haven't. And uh, the new Spider-Woman. Of course, uh, for those of you who don't know, I cosplay as Spider-Woman. And uh, like, I, I love Spider-Woman, like a lot. And like this this new run is, has been really great so I, re I recommend that too um, I know I'm not uh, uh, I know I haven't really been like socially like supportive of DC but I do enjoy DC comics as well I've watched the shows uh, most of the shows and uh, I had to pick this one up this Wonder Woman, uh, Wonder Woman 761, it's a variant, it's a really great black and white cover, I, I love it. Do you like DC? Yes. I, I mean, most of my life I've loved Marvel, like everything Marvel, <laughs> but, uh, recently I kind of expanded into uh, DC a little bit. It was mostly when I started watching the uh, Arrowverse shows. Uh, so uh, like Arrow and The Flash are like two of my favorites of those. And I did really love the Wonder Woman movie too. That was awesome. Um... I know I made a post about this, but I recently picked this up. Sensational She-Hulk number one. It's another show I cannot wait for is She-Hulk on Disney+. Plus. Like, I really hope it's great, which I'm sure it will. So, I was super excited to get this one. Oh yeah, and another show I can't wait for, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like, like when the trailers for uh, all the Marvel Disney Plus shows uh, premiered, like I think it was during the Super Bowl, um, I was like, yes, I cannot wait. So I, I wish they weren't delayed, but because of COVID, it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. They did Green Arrow justice. Yeah, I, I think Arrow was uh, my favorite uh, DC show out of all of them. I really enjoyed that. Flash was a close second. I enjoyed them too. I read their comics when I was young got me more into comics and not only I love watching animated films and watch the Timverse DCAU. Yeah, I, I I just like I love watching the shows and like if something from the shows connects to the comics or vice versa, it's it's really cool to see that. Um, 
another uh, sweet one I got. I also made a post about this too, but I really love this cover. It's like a red foil cover of Daredevil by uh, Frank Miller. And speaking of Daredevil, I got this. Pop Funko, Matt Murdock. So, I need to make a post with this in it. And, let's see. I don't know about anyone else, but I, I really love the What If comics. Like, I have quite a, a few of them. But, um... Like, this one is What If number 17, Ghost Rider, Spider Woman... What if Ghost Rider, Spider Woman, and Captain Marvel were all villains? Like, I, I just love, like, these issues because, like, it gives us, like, a... It makes us wonder, like, what if that actually was r real? Like, hi, girl. Thanks for joining. Like... I wish I brought out the comic box with the all my what if issues because there's a some really interesting ones out there like um, one of them is uh, what if Spider-Man and Black Hat got married like I, I think I got that with a Marvel Legends figure I got of Black Hat so I, I just really love those comics and I'm interested to see what they do with the What If Disney Plus show, too. Like, that'll be really interesting. Let's see. Um, like, got a couple Doctor Strange issues here. Dumamu and like I just love how like watching the MCU movies that I've gotten like so much more involved in like reading more character comics that, that are outside of Fantastic Four and Spider-Man because that's really all I collected up until the MC I started watching the MCU movies so once all those started coming out, I started getting more comics of characters that I had no idea, like, like about. Like, I really didn't know who the Guardians of the Galaxy were until the movie came out. And, like, now I, I got, let's see. Like, I got, I found this first issue of Guardians of the Galaxy with a uh, Yondu front and center. So I I just really love that uh, the MCU has uh, introduced me to more characters in the Marvel Universe that I had no idea even existed. So that I'm thankful for. got some other odds and ends comics related to like some of the early Fantastic Four comics and like this like basically now now that I have like pretty much all the Fantastic Four issues I, like anything having to do with Fantastic Four I, I just automatically get it because <laughs> when I was collecting the Fantastic Four comics originally, like years and years ago. Um, yeah, I had a hard time finding a lot of them because uh, they, they they were just really hard to find. And like the first like hundred and sixty some issues I have in collected editions. I wish I had the um, 
the single issues of all of them, but like the first 160 issues or so I have in collected editions in the Marvel Masterworks, I should say. Babe Doom, yeah. I love Doctor Doom. He he has to be one of probably my favorite uh Marvel villain of all time. I mean, uh, there is a lot of villains that I really love, like uh I don't know if you can see it, but uh there's Venom back there and I got a few uh Venomverse uh Pop Funkos. I love Venom too, but Doom is my favorite probably. You collect anything Marvel, just certain characters. Um, well, first, I I was just collecting Spider-Man because he's the whole reason why I got into Marvel in the first place. And then uh, it was Fantastic Four. So basically, at first, it was just Marvel or Spider-Man and Fantastic Four, like for a long time. And then, like. I've gotten more into collecting other characters, like, uh, ones that I really, like, have a strong connection to, like, um, or that I really love. Uh, I have a lot, quite a, like, a lot of Jessica Jones comics and, uh, Daredevil, uh, recently Captain Marvel, because I love her. Um, who else? Uh, of course Avengers and X-Men. So it's kind of a little bit of everything at this point. Like, believe me, if you can see all the comic boxes I have in my room right now, uh, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I've been meaning to just go through all of them and see if there's any that I don't want anymore. So... At one point, I might post, uh, like, I might share some uh, comics on my story to um, to all of you if, like, any of you want any of them, uh, we can work something out or something. So, yeah, like, it's a very, very expensive hobby. <laughs> It can be, at least. Much like uh, cosplay, <laughs> which I also do as well. So it, it's been hard to prioritize what I want to spend more money on is either comics or cosplay, because I love both. And uh, speaking of Doom, I got a few issues of uh, the Doctor Doom run. I, I need to keep get the rest, though. So, uh, another run that I really uh, enjoyed, of course, was Of My Girl, Invisible Woman. I know it was only five issues, but it was... I think it was well worth it. I and it was done by uh, Mark Wade. Uh, he's a really great uh, writer, and I enjoyed his run of the Fantastic Four like years and years ago. So I was really excited that he made a Invisible Woman comic run. Perhaps you could start selling some artwork. Yeah, I, like, I literally have a ton of, uh, canvases, uh, empty canvases in my room right now because I, uh, I put the announcement out there that I was open, uh, to doing, like, art commissions for people if they wanted me to, whether it's, uh, painting or drawing or sketch or whatever, um, it's, it's, I think it's a highlight on my, uh, my page. I put, uh, it's a highlight, so you can check it out if, uh, you want. But, yeah, I've 
I have a lot of artwork here that I'm willing to uh, sell. And also, like I said, uh, maybe some comics in the future. Whatever ones I don't want anymore. That series was great. Loved the artwork. Yes, I... I think... It, w it was just really well done, I think. And it was it was cool seeing uh, Sue out of her usual element, like in espionage and whatnot. So that, that was cool to see. Like, we saw a whole nother side of her that no one has really seen before. So that was really interesting. I have a whole nother comic box here, <laughs> or several. Um... Oh yeah, and I recently got this uh, graphic novel of Secret Warriors with my girl Daisy front and center. That was uh... I'm still really sad that S.H.I.E.L.D. ended. <laughs> it was weird not, like, staying up till, like, 11 o'clock last night and watching S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, like, that makes me really sad. <laughs> um... Like, s some other, uh, comics that I enjoy collecting are like the Marvel team up issues like uh, Marvel 2 and 1 with the thing teaming up with a bunch of people like these are pretty interesting like this one is uh, guest starring the Beast, Miss Marvel, Nick Fury and Wonder Man so find these a lot most of them I've gotten at like cons and stuff Like, I know this is a team-up I would love to see in the MCU. I'm praying that they do it one day. Uh, Spider-Man and Daredevil, which I know there's a rumor of uh, Matt Murdock being uh, in Spider-Man 3 with Tom Holland. So, praying that they do that, because that would be so awesome. Apologize for long uh, pauses where I'm not talking because I'm just trying to go through all these. And I hope that you guys can hear me okay because <laughs> like when I was talking about Jessica Jones I uh, of course got the alias comics here and like And I got this graphic novel here, Pulse, sharing her time, like, as Jewel and, like, with Luke Cage and also uh, with uh, little Danielle. I know at one point I want to... Uh, do another live video about uh, the Jessica Jones show and um this time I like last time I I did it like I don't can't remember when I uh, I was talking about all three seasons and I uh, it was during the time where uh, Instagram wouldn't let me save it to IGTV so I kind of want to do that, that video again but this time I want to have a guest on, and uh, I thought I would have uh, one of my uh, very dear friends, uh, who's also a cosplayer, and she does amazing Jessica Jones cosplay. Um, 
So I asked her to join me for that one. So that would be a really great one. I don't know when I'll, when that will be yet, but once I do know a date, then I will definitely let you guys know. Another really, really cool uh, collectible or statue I got was this. I got uh, this from uh, GameStop when they were having that uh, sale with uh, the Spider-Man statues. So I got this uh, for not a bad price, actually. So I... I love the spider punk costume from the game and I still need to get comic for him. The comics, the spider punk comics. So. So another comic run that I highly recommend for those of you who, uh, actually, crap, never mind. I thought this was a different one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I... So if you guys have any uh, questions or anything, just feel free to comment. Now I need to, like, go through all this, read some of them, and, like, put them in the right boxes because I'm, <laughs> I'm a pretty organized person and I don't, I don't really like it when everything is everywhere. So I need to put these all in the right boxes because <laughs> I'm a organized person like that, like a clean freak. Um, let's see what else. Are you excited for Young Justice coming back f for a fourth season? Actually, I haven't watched that show, Young Justice. I haven't. So, I don't really know what that's. It's the DC, DC show, right? So, I, I haven't watched that show, actually. Sorry. <laughs> so... There's another graphic mar uh, graphic novel I wanted to show you, but that's it. I just saw it. I literally just had it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this. Uh, graphic novel I got today and Venomverse I know this came out a while ago but yeah, I'm just now getting my hands on it <laughs> I'm so late like I don't I don't I wish I had more time to go to the comic store more often but with a full-time job it's kind of hard like I don't really have a lot of time for anything anymore which sucks, but I'm making money. More money than I was, so that's always a good thing. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. And, and also, just to put it out there, and you guys will be the first to know, because I wasn't planning on announcing this yet, but my one of my next, like... Like, one of my next cosplays 
is one of the characters in this book. It's a venomized character, which I spent a lot of work uh, like planning out and also creating it in the first place. There's still some things I need to do with the cosplay to finish it, but I'm like super excited to uh, debut it and uh, share it with you guys. So, so I'm, I'm not going to say who it is yet, I'm sorry, but uh, it's going to be a surprise, but feel free to guess. I think I have like 30 minutes left. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like the worst at like keeping a straight face. <laughs> yeah, so plus that's really the only cosplay out of all those characters that, uh, well, that's the only character out of all those characters on that cover that relates to cosplays that I've done, so. Oh well. But you'll have to stay tuned for the reveal for it. But, um, let's see. So if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, just let me know. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Sorry, I have like a million uh, comic boxes. In my room. <laughs> They're heavy. All right. Oh yeah, this this was the other X twenty three comic novel or graphic novel I got with uh, her and her uh, sister Gabby. <laughs> so. Still need to read it, like all the other comics I have. <laughs> Gosh, I am like so behind. It's like not even funny. Yeah, I've, I've come to really love X-23. She's just amazing. Uh, having like or, like having a good day and uh, staying safe out there because we're still in a pandemic and it still sucks but hopefully we'll get better soon and can go back to normal and everything I really miss my friends <laughs> like I, I miss them so much um like, I still get to play uh, games on uh, PS4 with my one friend. He has a PS4. So I get to do that. And uh, I've uh, video chatted with my other friend before, like, on this account and also through Skype and whatnot. So that's helped a little bit, but it it's a lot better seeing them in person.
same hair. She's so badass. <laughs> Agreed. Though her character in Fallen Angels was lacking. Yeah, I... And just the fact that she's uh, a clone of uh, Wolverine, or basically his daughter, is uh, pretty cool in itself. Just trying to think of what else I could show you guys. Mm. Like, like, uh, if you just give me a second, I'll bring out some more of uh, my artwork. Like, if you haven't seen it already, I'll just, one second. <laughs> Okay, so these paintings I did a while ago, like this, uh, the arc reactor for Iron Man, I did this cute one of uh, Groot and uh, <laughs> Goose, and uh, I did a Defenders, like variant comic cover type of, it, uh, type of thing. For the defenders. And like these, I I featured these in uh, as part of my giveaway for my cosplay account. I uh, offered some paintings for people to choose from if they won. So I still have all these. And, uh, Star Wars with uh, Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. And some Justice League. And uh, PS4 Spider Man, which I really love the suit. <laughs> and speaking of X23, I'm sure some of you saw this one. really wish I had more room to hang these up on my wall because I definitely would <laughs> and like one of the first few paintings I did was this one storm the mohawk and everything so there been have there have been a few people that have asked me for a uh, a few art pieces that I've done. So, like, uh, I had one uh, cosplayer asked for uh, one of the Captain Marvel paintings I did a while ago. So I'm, I'm holding that for her. But if, if anyone again wants me to do a art commission for them, or painting, a drawing, whatever. I'm, uh, I have plenty of, uh, art supplies now, so just, uh, DM me if you have anything. Oh, I love that. Thank you. X23 is effing awesome. Thank you so much. I, like, I, I mean, I'm not a professional painter. Like, I, I've been painting, like, I've been drawing in general for like most of my life, my whole life, and uh, like I recently just really started getting into like painting more. So it's still a learning process for me what works best and what I should and shouldn't do. But uh, one thing I've always had a hard time with is drawing people. And I, like back in high school, I, I took a, uh, an art, like I was an art major in high school because I went to a tech school, like a vocational tech school. And uh, 
I was an art major because that's what I really love. I love art and that's what my career was going to be. And uh, that obviously changed. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I've, I learned a lot in there, in that class, throughout the three years that I was in there. And um, so yeah, I, it's since high school, I didn't really paint a lot until now. But uh, I've, I think I would say I've gotten better because like, like I said, the more you do something, the better you get at it, I guess. Are you going to do a Stanley painting? Yeah, I, I would love to do a Stanley painting. And uh, speaking of Stanley, I got this uh, new shirt, Excelsior. It was a exclusive shirt that they were offering. I love all of those. Thank you. Thank you so much. I... I know uh, last week and I, I was live with uh, Sanimation 5 and um, and Joe on uh, YouTube talking about Tomb Raider and uh, one of the viewers saw my Invisible Woman painting on my wall and <laughs> so uh, but yeah I like, I know I did a Spider-Woman painting, too, a while ago. That's in my uh, game room, hanging up. So, I think I made a post about that a while ago. Like, you have to scroll down a little bit. <laughs> I have to go. Better turn on my PS4 to go hysterical with Weirdo Gamer at Fall Guys. If you want to join later, let me know. Yeah, actually, I was planning on streaming later <laughs> or maybe even after I'm done with this because uh, I really love that game <laughs> it's so funny but yeah I was gonna go uh, stream a game or two maybe and maybe later I will uh, like, I have a whole list of uh, ideas for YouTube videos that I want to do in the future, or hopefully very soon. But, uh, like, like I said, time is uh, precious right now for me, because I'm working all the time, it seems. So, on my days off, I have to manage my time, like, very efficiently. So, uh, I'm gonna, probably after this, uh, go stream a game or something. So, yeah. Fun stuff. Planning to make a Spider-Man animation series and an X-Men animation series and Iron Man and New Avengers. That's cool. I, um, I know, like, I love animation, like, Especially some of the older uh, Marvel animation series out there. I still there's still a few that I need to watch, but uh, I I really enjoy them. Like uh, a few of the uh, old like like the Fantastic Four animation series, like from way back when. Uh, I really love that one, and. And plus the Spider-Man, of course. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, as far as YouTube goes, I'm... Like, I'm gonna try to upload some more videos very soon. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. And, uh... And also be, uh, live streaming some games on there. Uh, periodically. And maybe even uh, go live with some people on there. I'll have to figure things out more because, like, my thoughts are all over the place right now. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot of exciting stuff got coming, so just stay tuned for all that. 
I'm not really sure how much time I have left. <laughs> um, yeah. So, since all my other con boxes are far away from where I'm sitting right now, um, I don't want to really want to get up again. But um, I think I'm going to end things here. And uh, again, just stay tuned for more exciting stuff. I'm uh, working on multiple things at once. So I hope you guys have a great week and weekend. And uh, stay safe. Thank you all for joining me and uh, chatting comics and watching me go through this huge stack of comics. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.